The facts? Two members of the media were recently gunned down near Roanoke, Virginia, by a former co-worker with an axe to grind. Injured in the rampage, a spokeswoman for the local Chamber of Commerce. When state police closed in on the suspect, he took his own life. The educated response? Investigate the facts. Authorities quickly disclosed the shooter had both personal and racist motives. He legally acquired the firearm used in the attacks after passing the required background check. There was nothing that could have been done to legally prevent the crime from happening. The liberal knee-jerk response? Get angry and ban guns. Yes, the political backlash was strong, united, and virtually instantaneous. Virginia Governor Terry McAuliffe admitted to not knowing whether the Roanoke gunman had a criminal record, while still asserting that expanded background checks would have made a difference. Democratic presidential candidate Hillary Clinton jumped on the bandwagon, tweeting, we must act to stop gun violence and we cannot wait any longer. Meanwhile, President Obama immediately sent his press secretary on a press mission to promote common sense gun control reforms. As government officials bend over backward to strip Americans of their firearms, Gun Owners of America is working overtime defending the Second Amendment rights of Americans. Gun Owners of America Executive Director Larry Pratt responded, If we're serious about protecting our freedoms, we'd better be serious about getting the anti-freedom crowd out of office. One of the best ways to sort the good guys from the bad guys is the gun issue. If they're not for you having a gun, they're not for you at all. To learn more about your Second Amendment rights and these fresh assaults on the Second Amendment, plus what you can do to help, visit Gun Owners of America's website at gunowners.org.